Welcome, shipmates. Today is Tuesday, November 28th. I am Emily. And I am Lelia. Seniors, you've already ordered your cap and gown, right? Well, if not, prices go up after Sunday, December 31st. So go to jostens.com and order them now. The December SAT will be given this Saturday, December 2nd, at the Evening High School Shoemaker Complex. Many students are arriving without ID, calculators, and or admissions tickets. Registered students should bring photo ID, admissions tickets, a calculator, and number two pencils. Good luck, SAT test takers. For any college applications with due dates of January 1st, the deadline to submit your documents to your counselor is Wednesday, December 6th. Please be aware of the dates of winter break as your school counselor will not be in school to process your applications. NHS members, Friday, December 1st is the last day to bring in your pajamas for the pajama drive. Please bring them to Ms. Webster in G116 or Ms. K in G108. Mu Alpha Theta will meet this Thursday, November 30th, from 3 to 3.30 p.m. in the choir room A127. All members are encouraged to attend as attendance matters this year. You can refer to the attendance policy posted in Google Classroom or reach out to Ms. Olinde or Mr. Taylor with any questions. And a reminder, if you were inducted in the spring and have not yet paid your $16 dues, then please bring them to the meeting. Remember, exact cash or check only. French Honor Society will meet in F207 on Wednesday, November 29th and Thursday 30th to work on gen uh, gingerbread houses. You must be engaged for 30 minutes for your attendance to count. Clipper Word of the Week. Fallacy. Part of speech. Noun. What does it mean? A false notion or mistaken belief. How can I use it in a sentence? It is a fallacy that being popular always means being happy. Follow QR code to know more. Closing out Native American Heritage Month, this week we meet in Scott Mamaday, a Pulitzer Prize winning writer. Mamaday is recognized for his significant contribution to American literature. His works often explore the connection between land and identity. Drawing deeply from his Native American heritage, his novel House Made of Dawn is credited with leading the way for the breakthrough of Native American literature into the mainstream. And that's all we have for you today, JMB. Have a great day, JMB.